Yo, what's up guys, it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and today I'm going to show you how to get an iOS 10 like experience on your Android device. To be able to do this, you're going to need a bunch of applications, I'll leave direct download links to all of them in the description below. Some of them can be downloaded from the Play Store while some others have to be downloaded from an external source. But without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. So the heart of this iOS on Android setup is the launcher and I decided to go with iLauncher. I've tried a couple of others but I like this one the best as I think it's as close as it can get. So taking a quick look, you have a very iOS style interface, a dock on the bottom, the page dots, no app drawer, you have iOS style folders and of course those buttery smooth animations too. You can also change a lot of icons to the official iOS style icons by holding and clicking on the desired icon. You also have the notification badges just like the iPhone, pretty cool right? Besides that, you can customize the wallpaper, the logo and font color too. The wallpaper I am using is from the official iOS 10 wallpaper collection. If you want it for yourself, links in the description. Next up is the control center. The app I use for this is called control center OS 10. Yet again, it looks pretty darn close to the control center on the iPhone. Swiping from the bottom will reveal the control center and just like iOS 10 you have two pages. On the first page are some quick toggles. You can adjust the brightness, turn Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on or off, turn on the flash and a bunch of other things. On the second page you have music playback controls. Again, very iOS 10 like. Job well done by the developer. Next up is the notification center and for this I used iNoti. This is the least iOS 10 like looking thing of all the things that I'm showing you today but nonetheless it's pretty decent. It borrows the today and notification tabs from the older versions of iOS and on top of that it also has quick toggles on the bottom which if I'm not wrong the iOS notification center does not have. You also have the clear all button to kill all the notifications at once. Moving on, we have the lock screen and for this the app I used is iLock. Again, this looks really close to the iOS lock screen. You can swipe left to access the camera, swipe up for the control center and swipe right to unlock. You can of course add a pin and change the lock screen wallpaper too. Last but not least is assistive touch. Now this really isn't an essential but if you want to, you can do it. This round circle can be enabled by going into your settings, this is a MIUI exclusive feature and it's called quick ball so I'm not too sure if there's a way to get something similar on other Android devices. But this circle looks a tad bit like the assistive touch circle so I thought why not include it. Tapping on it gives you shortcuts to 4 apps of your choice, I've got Twitter, Gmail, Facebook and YouTube but you can of course customize it to your liking. Sure assistive touch is way different than this but I mean. The circle does sort of look like the assistive touch circle so there is no reason not to use it. But that's how you get an iOS like experience on your Android device. If you found the video helpful drop a like and consider subscribing for more. Thanks so much for watching, it's been Suraj, take it easy and stay devoted.